Hello guys, this is Fernando from Fix Phones. Today I'm gonna show you how to bypass a Google account on the Moto G Stylus. So let's get started. First thing you have to connect your phone on Wi-Fi. Once you do, you're just gonna phone's gonna be checking for updates. takes a couple minutes here you gonna click on do not copy and here we have to click on use my Google account as you can see the phone is locked so we have to go back to the startup menu then here we have to change the language so you have to scroll all the way down and select the last language then click on the first one hit the emergency icon click on it twice then here we have to click on the circle icon on the bottom of the keyboard as you can see Then we have to change the language back to English. Emergency call, then click on emergency information twice. Click on the name, click on it, then click press and hold the circle icon. We have to add keyboard. Then here we have to remove the Chinese language. Then click on add keyboard and you have to scroll down until you see like an arrow next to the language. Click on it, then hit on the three dots and click on help and feedback. Then over here you have to type in use course code morse. first option then click on the share icon then you have to go under messages you gotta press and hold messages then click on app info Here we'll have to click on permissions, then click on the search icon. You have to type in Chrome. Click on Chrome, then you have to click open. No thanks. Then here you have to type in this link. And we'll have to download it. Then download this one. And the last one. Once you finish downloading all of them, we just gotta close the tab and keep just one open.
then here we have to click on the three dots go under downloads then open apex launcher then click settings allow unknown sources install then open here we have to download the android 6 then the frp bypass click on the three dots then browse sign in then here you have to type in your gmail account and the password once you finish click on next then go back here we have to do the same steps we gotta go back click on the three dots and we have to go under downloads and open the apex launcher open here we have to go to settings we have to go under security device admin app you have to turn on find my device if it's off gotta go back we have to do the same steps we done on the first time go on the circle icon add keyboard scroll down you see the error click on the three dots help and feedback press and hold the share icon then press and hold messages app info then click on open go under downloads open apex launcher then go to chrome type in find my device then you have to put the same gmail account you put in on the first step so you have to put your gmail and password accept Then here we have to put under secure device you can put whichever password you want so i'm gonna use one two three four now the phone is locked with the password you entered now click on erase device erase device put your email and password to verify
click on erase now the phone is gonna do a factory data reset takes a couple minutes until it finish if this video helped you out please leave a like and subscribe to my channel it will help a lot Click start, then connect the phone to Wi-Fi. Here you have to click on do not copy. Then type in the password you previously set up on the phone. Click on skip on the bottom. Skip again. Click more. Accept. Skip. Skip. Okay. Accept more and next next get started. Here you have it. Now the phone is factory unlocked. Leave a like, comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.